Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabati fillah In a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam Nabiyyina Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam said or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam as the Sahabi radiallahu ta'ala in he mentioned he said khatta khatta lana rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam he drew a line so this is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa drew this line in the dirt وقال, he said, this is the path of Allah. This is the path of Allah. So then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he drew a line on the on the right and the left of that original line that he drew in the, the dirt. And he said, these are the paths. And he said, Wala kulisibil fiha shaitan. And at every on each one of those paths is a shaitan, is a devil. What are the devils doing? Why would they be on a path? We ask that question. Why, you know, <clears throat> why is there a sabil? Why are there subul? There are different paths and there are shayateen. What's going on there? The Prophet ﷺ mentioned that they are that at these paths there are shayateen that call to Jahannam. Du'at ala abwaab Jahannam. They are devils or callers on the path of Jahannam. These are callers to the path of Jahannam. That right there, Ahabat Filah, should be sufficient for us to know that there are those people that are Muslim that are callers, they call, they call to Islam somewhat they have distorted ways of doing it, they have bid'ah and ma'asi that they interject with it but that they are those who fish in because the Prophet wasallam said there are those people who do that that, and that's why he drew the path on the right and the left. And he said, Hadihi subul. These are the paths. And at the end of each path is a shaitan yad'uluhu. At the end of each of those paths is a devil that calls to it. Meaning he calls to his bid'ah. He calls to distorted methodologies and understandings of Islam and distortions of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my advice is to be cautious as Ibn Sirin mentioned under an Amma uh, Amman Yaqud Dinukum Kama Qal that beware and be cautious of who you take your religion from. Because there are many people who claim to be callers to Salafiyya or claimers to call to the Aqidah and methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. However, as the scholars mention, that Al Ibra. Bi haqaiq, laysa bi musammiyat. 
that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name or claim. So if someone claims to be from Ahl Sunnah, but you say that they call to aspects of the minhaj of the Khawarij and Takfir, then you know that more than likely they are not on the Sunnah of the Prophet And if you see someone calling to something else, to deep immersion in political activism and things like this, then you know that they are not from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Because you'll find that the people have so many mukhalifat, even if they claim Salafi, or even if they claim to be from Ahl Sunnah, even if they claim to be from Ahl Hadith, even if they claim to be from Ahl Athar, even if they claim to be from Ahl Firqat al Najiyah. <clears throat> or many of the names that Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah has used throughout history, that the reality is in the practice and in understanding, not in the name. And we ask Allah to bless us to practice what we preach and to be better than how we are. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our many sins and rectify our condition and affairs. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم